This is Joe Vec. Well, Vic from CME Group here in Chicago. The wheat market traded both sides have unchanged, but has generally been under pressure since Friday's report from USDA. The USDA told us on Friday that winter wheat acreage here in the U.S. was quite a bit larger than most traders had anticipated, and that sent the complex sharply lower. The Kansas City, the Chicago, and the spring wheat markets all finished the day sharply lower Friday. We did see a little bit of follow-through selling uh, here on Tuesday following a long holiday weekend. So following what had been a little bit of a bounce, we really just reverted back into bear market territory. This has been a market that the funds have been short for a long, long time. It's been a comfortable short for them. Uh, they took a little bit of heat on that rally during June and July. But aside from that, they've been comfortably short and they've been able to roll into a substantial carry just about every month, which uh, really helps them to make money in this market. Now, moving forward here, we do have some U.S. weather issues that should be monitored. It's very, very dry throughout the U.S. Southern Plains, and we've got a more severe drought in portions of the Northern Plains, the western parts of North and South Dakota, very, very dry. And that's something that the trade may start to pay more attention to as we get into late winter and early spring. Again, Joe Vec from CME Group here in Chicago.